Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to start here talking about logic. What logic is, mathematically speaking, <clears throat> it's um, it's something different, maybe that uh, you've done in a while as far as math goes, but it's the study of statements, um, which the statements could be mathematical some way, like uh, uh, 4 is less than 12. Okay, that's, that's a statement of, and, and really the way you distinguish a statement is whether it has a true or false value. If something can be true or false, um, that's a statement. Okay, so that's what logic is, it's a study of statements. And like I said, they can be mathematical, but a lot of the ones that we do, uh, that we talk about here today in, in this unit, they're not going to be mathematical, they're just going to be words, uh, statements, okay? Like regularly think of a statement. So it's a, a study of statements and their truth values, whether they're true or false or, or uh, combinations thereof. <clears throat> All right, so that's, uh, like I said, a statement is, um, here's just some examples. Um, like I said, four is less than 11. Yeah, sure, we have some mathematical statements. Um, Five equals seventeen. All right. Some are true. Some are false. Okay. So that's um, <clears throat> that's what we're talking about. Statements that have true or false values. Um, and you know, sometimes they are true. Sometimes they are false. Uh, the same statement. Like here, we can have x less than uh, eleven. Is that one true? Well, it depends on what x is, right? Okay. So that's that's what we're talking about. There's sometimes when a statement may be true, and then other times where it may be false. That's a good example. But uh, anyway, um, but like I said, we'll we'll do a lot of just word statements. Um, <clears throat> I listened to the radio today. That's a statement. Well, is that true or false? Well, it depends on whether or not you listen to the radio today. But um, <clears throat> that's the, the kind of thing we're talking about is something that can be true or it can be false, um, depending on the situation. Now, some uh, <clears throat> you know, be aware that not all sentences are uh, statements, right? Because uh, some statements just don't have true or false values. Um, something like, uh, do your homework. That's not a statement, logically speaking, mathematically, logically speaking, right? Because that, that doesn't have a true or a false value. That's a command or, uh, yeah, whatever, but it is, it's not, mathematically speaking, a statement. So, and then <laughs> the other thing, you know, sometimes it might sneak in, but the other thing we want to avoid as far as uh, statements are concerned is um, things like this. Tiger is better than Jack. Tiger is better than Jack. Yeah, because that... <clears throat> I don't know if you want to say that's more opinion or, or whatever. It's not true or false uh, as uh, as these others are. So we'll try to uh, try to avoid that. And there's some other things we get into, but that's the basic idea, okay, for a statement. And that's what we're studying in in logic is the true and false statements, and then uh, combinations of those. We're going to put those together. Um, which that leads me to the next thought, is that you have compound statements. And you know about the word there, compound. Compound statements are just two or more statements joined together, okay? Two or more uh, statements joined together. Now we'll join them together. <clears throat> There's different ways, but we'll look at uh, a couple of them. Uh, 
here today and then another one uh, or two later on. But yeah, compound just means you have two statements and they're going to be joined together. Well, how can you join them together? Today we'll talk about uh, basically two ways. <clears throat> And that is uh, and statements and or statements. We can put statements together with and, and we can put statements together with <coughs> roses are red and violets are blue. That's a good example. Right? Because what do we got? Roses are red, that's a statement. Violets are blue, that's another statement. Right? And so, We've joined those together, and we join them together with and, and then of course the other uh, one to follow suit here is, is with or. Um, <clears throat> Tom is taking math, or let's say this, Tom will take math, or <clears throat> he will take from the right thing. Or he will take English. All right, that's another example of a compound statement because we've got the or there, but around the or we've got two, two different statements. Okay? So both of those are statements, meaning they could be true, they could be false, um, depending on the situation. So <coughs> Just a little FYI here, and statements are uh, what's known as uh, conjunctions in uh, mathematic logic. <clears throat> so and statements are, uh, those are called conjunctions, or statements, those are disjunctions. see those um, words, they just refer to the and or the or statements. <clears throat> All right, now here's some notation, a little bit of notation um, for statements and 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 or. Usually with statements, we want to uh, kind of shorten them down to, to work with them, I guess you might say. Statements we're going to let uh, be represented by lowercase letters, and uh, for whatever reason, we're going to start with P. You don't have to. I mean, you can use other letters, but um, one statement, so let's go with this one, all right? So let's call this one, that'll be statement P, and then violets are blue, that'll be statement Q. So we'll, different letters will represent different statements, and then if we you know, continue on, you know, this would be R, this would be S, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so, statements are represented by letters, and uh, as far as uh, the AND and the OR go, they have symbols as well. <clears throat> the AND is uh, represented with, uh, I don't know what you want to call that, the tip of an arrow kind of thing looking. Pretty easy to remember because it does look like a, almost like a capital A there, right? <clears throat> well, guess what? The OR is the V uh, looking thing. So that, that'll be our notation for AND and OR and what we would use. <coughs> so this statement here, so this statement here we would write, uh, we wrote in symbols using P and Q as a sign there. That would be P and then the AND. Uh, symbol and then the Q. This one would be, um, since I named them R and S, this would be R or S. Okay? So that's our notation for AND and OR statements. Alright? <clears throat> so it's a little little different. Maybe not have seen, uh, seen these before, but that's in mathematics uh, how we do statements like this in logic. Okay? Question or concern? Let's uh, talk about your negations. In logic, a negation is, is just like it sounds. 
A negation is a statement, the negation of, uh, let's say, of statement P. What does that mean? Well, exactly what it sounds like. The negation of statement P is, the, is a statement that has exactly the opposite truth value in all situations, okay? So this is going to be uh, a statement that has exactly, <clears throat> or it has, let's just say it has opposite truth value of P. And in all situations. And I'll give you an example of what, what I mean by that. So it's a statement that has the opposite truth value in all situations. That makes sense, right? Negate something means to turn it around, if you will. <clears throat> so it's a statement that has the opposite truth value in all situations. And it's denoted, um, this negation of P is denoted, maybe sort of what you'd think, but uh, a, little, a little something different. But it's got a little uh, squiggly line, P, <clears throat> that denotes the negation. So instead of the minus, they use, for whatever reason, use a little squiggly line tilde, um, something like a tilde, I guess. But uh, that, that's the negation. <clears throat> All right, so let me give you an example of negations, uh, negation. All right, so let's say here today is Tuesday. So that's statement P, and so let's do what we might say would be the negation of P for that. <clears throat> Today is Tuesday, so the negation of P. All right, um, usually the negation of a statement is if you put in the word not uh, appropriately, that, that's usually the best thing to do. Today is Tuesday, and so the negation would be Today is not Tuesday, right? <clears throat> and, you know, that works vice versa. If I have the word not in the statement, taking that word not out a lot of times would, would negate the statement as well. So, it, you know, it works both ways. You see what I'm saying? All right? Yeah, so that's, in most cases, that that's what you do. We'll, we'll talk about some that are a little... Uh, a little trickier here in a second, but um, <clears throat> but what else I want to say though is that is exactly the opposite in all situations. Meaning, you know, this is why I do this example because we could talk about that statement on different days of the week. Because today is Tuesday, that would be true on Tuesday. Uh, today is not Tuesday would be false on Tuesday, right? <clears throat> today is not Tuesday would be false on Tuesday. Now. If I move to another day of the week, Wednesday, <clears throat> today is Tuesday would be false, today is not Tuesday would be true. Okay, so it works in all situations, whatever day of the week. So that's what we're saying in all situations. An example of one that would not be, <clears throat> this would not be a good negation because uh, you'll see why today is Wednesday. Well, let's do today's Friday, just to make it quicker. That would not be a good negation of today is Tuesday, right? Because why? Well, today is Tuesday. If today is Tuesday, that works fine as uh, that one's true. Today is Friday. It's false. So it is opposite. However, if we go to Wednesday, move ahead to Wednesday here. <clears throat> today is when, uh, the day is Wednesday. So if I say today is Tuesday, that's false. But today is Friday is also false, isn't it? So it's not the opposite in all situations. So that's why we want to avoid something like that, changing, changing it like that. So you got to be careful with your negations. It, it needs to be in all situations to be a true negation. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let's uh, do this uh, here. <clears throat> So let's say P represents it will be uh, 
50 degrees today. And Q, let's let that be, it will rain today. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so um, let's just put, do a couple of uh, little problems here. First of all, just uh, <clears throat> let's just translate here to words this statement here. So we've got squiggly Q, then this symbol, and then squiggly P. Um, <clears throat> so that in words using those statements would be what? Well, we would start, this is, what does this mean? It's the negation of Q, right? So I'd negate Q, so what would be the negation of Q? Just put the word not, right, in the appropriate. It will not rain today. What is, what is that symbol? The upside down B, that's the and, right? Looks kind of like a capital A. <clears throat> so that's and. Then that's the negation of P. So the negation of P, it will not be 50 degrees today. Okay? Does that look all right? And so we can go the other way too. <clears throat> Let me uh, show you one specific example going that way because I think... Uh, well... Yeah, we could <clears throat> we could take a statement and go the other way. But let me let me show you one more of these uh, where we've got the the symbols and translating it. <clears throat> and that is the one where we have uh, a little squiggly line outside of the statement, if you will. Um, <clears throat> so essentially, it's saying negate this whole statement and. We, we'll talk about how we do that. There's a little little catch to it. For now, <clears throat> just starting off in this section, here's, here's what I would... We want the negation of this, this statement. And so to kind of phrase that, <clears throat> um, let's just go with, it is not <coughs> the case <coughs> that P or Q. So it will be 50 today <coughs> or it will rain today. So that's how we'll handle it for the time being. We'll, we'll talk about how we can actually negate this statement uh, other way. <coughs> otherwise, but uh, yeah, just if you've got a squiggly line outside here, just uh, put the little uh, phrase it's not the case that. <coughs> All right? Yeah, and so any questions about that? Um, you could be asked to go the other way where you have the statement and then go with the symbols, but <clears throat> I think you uh, probably get get the uh, picture there. Any, uh, any question there? <clears throat> 